So look how little room I have pulling out of my garage. <laughs> The one thing I didn't think about when I rented this house is just how little room I have, or when I bought my car, just how it hardly fits in my own garage. Okay, I'm back. So, woke up this morning. Let me let me take my coat off. Let me let me let me do that. Okay. So, every few weeks my nephew goes to Costco and then he comes here and we do some recording before he goes home and I have him grab me big packages of chicken wings. Uh, and then I'll freeze them all and have them as part of my keto diet. Uh, and of course, I do that. He buys, brings over three packages and I have like six, <laughs> six Ziploc bags for three big packages of chicken wings. So I go to the store, buy some more bags. Great, no problem. Now I can pack up my chicken wings and of course, you never go to the store and just buy what you want. Mushrooms, and you know what? There's a pretty good price on roast beef, so I got that as well. Multitask a little bit today. Yeah, package up some chicken wings while I tell you about a little bit of frustration that I've been having today. Uh, I have been working on some canceled cruises. This is gonna be a travel agent thing. And all we're doing is moving over bookings from this year to 2022. Just take the bookings, rebooking them. I, I went through and I picked out all the cabins and I made all the arrangements to know where I'm putting everybody and all that ahead of time. And then I called the cruise line and we started going through them one at a time and moving them over. And then the person said, uh, can you give me a minute? I need to talk to my supervisor. So they went and talked to their supervisor and came back and then said to me, hey, why don't you just send us all the names because we can see all the people in the group. Just send us those that we need to do and uh, attach the cabin number and then we will do it and have everything moved over and it'll save you time of having to stay on the phone the entire time. And I thought to myself, good. <laughs> you know what? The less time I have to spend on the phone, the better that's going to be. So, uh, left it with them on a Monday. All of a sudden, Tuesday rolls around, they're not moved. Wednesday rolls around, they're not moved. Thursday roll around, still not moved. Call up the supervisor and said, oh, uh, yeah, well, don't worry, they'll be done by the end of day today. I said, great. So yesterday I go in, Friday, and sure enough, they've started doing them. So I gave them till the end of Friday. It's done, I, and uh, I see all of the names have been moved over and everything, great. And then I look down and I see that none, none of the money yet has been moved over from the previous bookings. So in other words, in two more days, all those bookings get canceled because there's no deposit. But there is a deposit. They just had to move the deposit from the old booking. And the other cruises haven't been canceled. And I am getting extremely, extremely frustrated. You know when you work and you're the person who's like, little details and you make sure everything's done and you dot your I's, cross your T's, make sure it's all happening and then you have to leave it to somebody else and it doesn't get done or it's half done. It's, it's very, very frustrating. I, 
Now, I can't call today because the, the group's department is closed on the weekend. So I have to wait till Monday. Monday is the day after my sale that I've arranged for this cruise is over. And I, uh, and so like people could possibly miss out on the sale. Not only that, it's uh, the date that they have for the deposit has to be in by Monday, like Sunday evening. So, like I'm, I'm at, I'm at wit. Literally since Monday, I have been working on two group cruises that I've had to rearrange, and I was hoping that this would just make it easier and make it simple. And instead, it's going to be a ton, a ton, a ton of work. To the point where I may have to go back in. Because when a sale, let me explain quickly. When a sale ends, they can't just go in and say, okay, well, we're gonna give you the sale price anyway. The code, the computer system will not accept the code. So that doesn't happen. So if I don't get it fixed, in time for Monday, then I will not be able to have all this moved over. And people could lose out on the sale price, they could lose out on the reduced deposit, they could lose out on the whole cruise. And then I look like a jackass, uh, really. I, I would look like the fool. So now what I have to do between today and tomorrow is I may have to go in and undo all the work that they've done so far. All the moves that they've done, cancel them all and redo them myself. So there's a longer extension on the deposit date and then call them on Monday and say, I had to fix your mistake and let's go over these 150 cabins that we now have to fix because they did not do it properly the first time. It's very, very frustrating. So yeah, if you're ever wondering what life as a travel agent is, this is just one of the examples of things not going smoothly. And there are so many examples that things can go wrong that you really have to seriously think about it. It's not all trips and exotic locations and travel. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of frustrating work, a lot of depending on other people. My niece and myself, I've been working since Monday. I'm working from uh, like six in the morning until 11 o'clock at night, steady on this stuff. And my niece is working from like three o'clock until three in the morning on this stuff, only to have it go like, basically almost have to start from scratch. Well, at least from the people we're moving. All the people we're booking who had called in and said, hey, yeah, I want to book a new cruise and they weren't on the old cruise, that's not a problem. We've, we've done that part. The problem is uh, relying on other people to do their job and, and they, they didn't do it properly. So there, that's my frustration today. It seems like every day there's just a little bit more.